All right, guys, what's up? It's your boy, Will. What is going on with Ford, okay? A lot of people asking me, a lot of requests, so I am making this video for you guys today. We'll go over why Ford is getting this exponential move, okay? I think it was up about, the high was about 9% today, but the move did come around about 2021, okay? So anytime you see moves happening, you always want to know where they came from. So we'll go over these old levels and why uh, Ford was going to be bullish today. A level that hit perfectly. We'll put some new levels on here for you guys. Buying levels, resistance levels. We'll go down to the five-minute day chart so I can show you what happened there. And then we'll kind of go back out to the 90-day, 30-minute chart to put some new levels on here for you guys. We'll also go to the back data of the reason why Ford is getting that move. Okay, Anytime you see a move like this, you want to know why the stock is moving. You want to know where to enter. You want to know where to exit. Okay. We also had some options that I'll show you guys in the Discord. That's why I say you should join the Discord for buy and sell signals to know when I'm buying and selling. It is for options and shares. We had a Ford option that we actually got in November. Okay. So we got it in November in the midst of when it was trading sideways. So I'll explain that also and show it to you and show you guys the next play that I'm looking for. So make sure you guys smash that like button. Let's get the video over 100 likes subscribe if you are new and make sure you check out the video before this one on the top three recovery stocks that could explode tomorrow okay you don't want to miss that video top three recovery stocks that could explode tomorrow i give you key levels on that and it's right before this one so make sure you check that one out like i said before um there's going to be about a lot of videos today so just make sure you stay tuned thank you guys for being here and make sure you subscribe if you're not new and then Trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So make sure you subscribe, subscribe, and share the video. So, again, talking about Ford Mortar, ticker symbol F. We had an old buying level around $20. And then, which, well, I'll, I'll explain that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this old buying level here so you can see uh, when I bought that call option because it was in November. I bought it at that buying level. And then we had an old resistance level. So let's go to that resistance level. The old resistance level I gave you guys was $22, okay? What happened today during pre-market? Okay, let's zoom in a little bit more. Notice how this acted as a support. It hit it once, twice, three times, and then took off, okay? So clearly, the resistance acted as support. That is very bullish. We already had options, so I wasn't looking to play it again, and it just went higher. Nice, consistent uptrend. Had little pullback, little pullback, kind of traded sideways right here, went higher, and then having that pullback closer to the end of the day. Well, actually, that's the midday. I think it did it. Let's see what happened. Okay, so it just stalled out after that. So the whole move was about two hours. Okay, two hours, it just went straight up, and now it's kind of settling out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove that. Let's go back out to the 90 day, 30 minute chart. I'm actually going to leave that buying level on here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the data of why Ford is going up. And then I'll also show you the option that we got. Okay, so just remember that buying level at 20. Let's go to the data and we'll come back to the chart. Okay, guys, so here we are with the back data of why Ford is going crazy. Okay, Ford stock pops on F1 lightning plans. Six things to know. Okay, so shares of Ford increased. They increased a lot this year. Okay. 143% during 2021, it seems like the gains are still coming, which they are, okay? Today, Ford share stock was up about 11% after the legacy automaker made a massive announcement concerning its upcoming electric F-150 Lightning pickup truck, okay? Ford announced that it would be almost doubling its current production. So doubling the current production of the F-150, very, very good Lightning amid an increase in demand, okay? Even I was thinking about getting one, okay? So I love Ford cars, if you haven't know. I was even thinking about getting the F1 Lightning, okay? F-150 Lightning. So even better, this is the second time that Ford announced that they would be doubling production. The initial output for the pickup truck was 40,000 units per year about one year ago. Now that figure has skyrocketed to 150,000 units per year, okay? By mid-2023, as consumers capitalize on the rising trend of EVs. If you guys don't know, Ford trucks are one of the best-selling trucks in America, okay? While Ford has yet to start taking orders for F-150 Lightning, the company has received 200,000 non-binding reservations that cost $100 each 
In fact, demand was so great that the automaker had to halt the number of reservations at 200,000. So they had more than that, but it was too much, so they stopped it, okay? Like I said, I'm even thinking about getting one. So Ford stated that it is currently utilizing a wave-by-wave -wave reservation process. What this means is the reservation holders should expect to receive an email or notification on their Ford account over the next few months to start the official ordering process. However, since the 200,000 orders are non-binding, investors will want to stay up to take on the actual order count. Okay. Now, if you guys want, we could go together, uh, probably in a different video, and we can probably do the process together. Like I said, I'm thinking about getting one, so we can go through that together and see how it works. Investors are definitely happy about the news, evident by the stock price movement today. Furthermore, the increased production target has only made investors more interested in Ford stock. Very true, okay. So, what to know about the increased F-150? Ford plans on achieving its uh, F-150 Lightning production target through its facilities in Michigan, okay. Additionally, the automakers plans to start the ordering process this Thursday, that's good. Prices for the F-150 Lightning will have a wide range. The work-oriented version of the truck will start around 39,000. Meanwhile, the consumer version of the truck will start around 52,000 and cap at around 90. I'll probably have one probably like 70 or so because you know you got to add stuff. Furthermore, Ford partnered with Sunrun, okay, so they have a partnership to offer customers a home charger, which is perfect, okay. Ford is also offering an inverter for the F-150 Lightning that can provide enough power to power a home during a outage, which is also good, right? You never want to be without power. So we need to also look at uh, Sunrun also. So let me write that down real quick. Let me write Sunrun down partner with Ford. Okay, so we can look at that one also. The F-150 Lightning will also boost a front truck or front that is commonly seen in the EVs. The front will be equipped with 110 volt outlet plugs, two USBs and cold up to 400 pounds. Bank of America Airlines John Murphy increases part target of F-4 to 26 from 22. The analyst believes Ford is well on its way to its turnover strategy, right? So that's pretty much why Ford is moving up. I think Ford is going to be doing great for years to come. This EV thing has really boosted them up. I like that because I love Ford. Now, the signal, okay? So as you can see here, sent the signal out uh, November 23rd, okay, November 23rd. Ford call option January 21, so it was about two months out, 25, the price I paid, and the exit, okay? When we go to the charts, you'll see that the exit is clearly over 21 when we do exit, okay? And here is the one that we sold right here. Sold Ford calls today around 10 a.m. Sold all contracts to 53 for a 50% gain. Congrats, team. Target was hit, okay? And also, before we go to the chart, make sure you guys come over, sign up for the VIP signals. We have the regular signals available too. VIP, best bang for your buck. You get two Discord rooms, okay? You also get the stock market options crash course with the VIP signals. And you also get two monthly live teaching Zooms. This month, we're doing a teaching Zoom every week. So make sure you don't miss that. Come sign up for the VIP. Very, very personalized trades, trade breakdowns, and I give you lessons, okay? I'm actually teaching you how to trade in the VIP, okay? That's kind of the difference between the regular signals and VIP. VIP, I'm actually teaching you how to trade. So let's go ahead and go over to the chart. Okay, so now that we know why Ford is going up and you saw the call option we got on Ford, we got it on November 23rd, which was this day right here, okay? That was this day right here. Notice how when we bought was right at that old buying level at 20. Okay, you see how 20 lines up through there? Let me just, let me kind of extend it right here. Okay, so this was an old buying level that we actually bought on. Okay, I bought it. It was a January expiration. We already sold it. It was a January expiration. We got 50% off of it. So that was kind of a swing. It was a two month out contract. It was a swing trade. We had to weather through all this. Okay, we had to weather through all this. We had a little pump up right here. Still didn't sell. Okay, came back down and then we finally had our run. Okay, so that was a very good play. Now we can remove this and let's go ahead and put some new levels on there. Okay, remove this one as well. So as you guys know, we do not chase price. Okay, we don't chase price. Price is already high. We already profited off our options. So there's no need to try to rush it. So what I'm kind of looking for now, I want price Realistically, I want price to come around 22, 
$22.40, okay? This is a realistic, I feel comfortable entering, okay? A lot of people be like, that's a lot of pullback. You never know what type of pullback will come. So I do want to be prepared for that type of pullback. Another buying level I see is probably around $23.50. So this one will be a little lighter position since price is kind of very high right now. Um, um, depicting on where Ford came from. So price is a little high. So this will be buying a little higher, but around here is where I really want to buy. Okay, so we have two buying levels now. For the exit levels for both, I'll really be looking at, because I'll probably exit, because um, Ford hasn't been this high in so long. I'll probably exit, let me see. If we enter around 22, 10%, so 10% will probably be around 2450. This will be the shares. I plan on getting options also, but the options I'll probably hold like I did before. It'll be a swing code for options, but shares buying pressure around 2240, exiting around 2450. Okay, that's the first play I'm looking at. Now, for here, if we bought around 2350, That'll probably take me to an exit of about 26 or so, okay? So just make sure you kind of uh, remember that. 26, looking for an exit if I bought around 2350. But these are the main three levels because I really want to buy here, okay? And if it falls and doesn't show buying pressure on either of these, we could see a little deeper pullback to like the 21s or 20s, okay? So kind of mind, be mindful of that too. But those are the main levels that I'll be looking out for Ford. Let me know if you guys want me to update you guys on how Ford is moving. So just comment update in the comment section and I'll keep updating you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. This is for education purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.